I think we should get started. Uh, it's my great uh, pleasure to welcome you all uh, here to uh, the Centre for Mathematical Sciences here in Cambridge to the third annual uh, ICCS uh, summer school. Um, you might have seen my face uh, flashed across the board and also heard me ranting at various stages in the in the various uh, talks. My name's Colin Kilcorfield. Uh, I am one of the co-directors of uh, ICCS here in Cambridge, but uh, the hat I'm wearing at this precise moment is also as head of the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics, one of the host of ICCS in Cambridge, and also one of the two constituent departments of the Faculty of Mathematics, uh, which is housed here at uh, the Centre for Mathematical Sciences. So the Faculty of Mathematics comprises SAMT, Applied Maths and Theoretical Physics, and also the Department of Pure Mathematics and Mathematical Statistics. It is the oldest faculty of the University of Cambridge, obviously the best, and, uh, and was indeed responsible for the first examinations here at the university. It was uh, rather interesting that the university was founded in 1209, but they only started setting exams in 1717. And it's been downhill ever since, I guess. <laughs> uh, so um, on this site, there are over 100 uh, facu university faculty uh, working across the whole spectrum of mathematical sciences, uh, from number theory to cosmology, and uh, quite a few interested in climate uh, dynamics. About 150 postdocs and over 250 PhD students. So it's a community of over 500 uh, mathematicians and physicists working, uh, solving uh, big problems. Uh, in my personal opinion, none bigger than looking at the climate uh, problem. And so it's really fantastic that we've got this uh, support from uh, Schmidt Sciences to do this Institute of Computing for Climate Science exercise here, jointly with computer science and also with the university's information systems. So uh, as I think you may have heard in the s session this morning, I put a huge value on training the next uh, generation of researchers uh, and in particular sharing with them the great revolution of AI and top quality uh, computing. So it's great that we are able to run this uh, school with uh, Schmidt's uh, support. So I hope you learn a lot in the next uh, few days. And it's also my great pleasure uh, to welcome uh, again uh, Stu Feldman uh, here uh, from uh, Schmidt Sciences, who's going to say a few words to you. And so thank you to Stu and Schmidt Sciences for supporting this endeavor. And we look forward to your, your words. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, many thanks to uh, Cambridge uh, for hosting this, uh, for ICCS for organizing and running a really uh, high quality opportunity for you know, software engineers to learn and uh, eat pizza together. Uh, equally valuable. Uh, I'm on the record probably a uh, uh, hundred times for saying nothing has a higher ROI at a university other than pizza with optional beer. So uh, uh, I will not comment on age limits and requirements. Uh, I think you can eat pizza at any age. So, uh, and, uh, and I don't believe, uh, you know, I'm not sure you're exactly right about your history because there was a faculty of theology earlier, but they had a different exam schedule and methodology, uh, but never mind. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, once again uh, uh, just uh, have the opportunity just to greet and uh, uh, meet uh, some of you in person. Uh, uh, I have the pleasure of uh, uh, being chief scientist and president of Schmidt Sciences. That's uh, legally a new organization. Uh, started on February 1st uh, as, a as a new legal charitable organization in the U.S. Uh, we support science uh, as our job and our role. We basically choose a number of major challenge areas which we think are susceptible to revolutionary change and do what we can to move them forward in the right direction with selected but significant resources. All of them are basically potentiated by technology revolutions, things that make it possible to make scientific progress. The scientific progress is measured in human knowledge and basically humans either happiness or survival. 
uh, the climate problem being a mixture of those, obviously. But you know, the revolutions that, uh, from my point of view, that are driving almost all of these opportunities are the computing revolution, the data revolution, the molecular bio revolution, and the space revolution. Each of these makes possible enormously cheaper and more powerful techniques, being able to use enormous amounts of data, being able to use new computing techniques are what is pu pushing forward almost everything. And you are sitting here at the nexus of those topics and have the uh, amazingly high leverage opportunity of making science happen much, much better. And let me just say thank you. Yeah, we have at the moment uh, are working in five big areas. One, uh, the uh, uh, astrophysics and space research, biosciences, uh, uh, and climate, AI and advanced computing, and cross-disciplinary activities. And the ICCS falls in two of those areas jointly. One is the Virtual Institute for Software Systems, where we have set up software groups at four universities to support our mostly the work of our grantees and awardees. The unique feature of the one at Cambridge, ICCS, is that it's specific to supporting the work on climate modeling research in our VESRI uh, activity. And so the people here have a knowledge of what the climate problem implies in addition to their software skills. So uh, a double-hatted, double-driven activity. Many thanks to uh, Colm, Emily, and uh, Dominic Charles, for uh, Chris, for making this happen. So thank you again. Um, so we support a lot of RSEs, at least 60 or 70 across Schmidt Sciences at the moment. This is based on a you know, if, you, if I may say, a faith-driven belief, uh, mostly from me, professional engineers who are focused full-time on doing engineering give, uh, are enormously more impactful than the efforts of no matter how smart and energetic sprinting grad students putting together code to do something or other. Uh, different incentives different capabilities, and bluntly, engineers have both a different skill set and a different mindset. The goal that you're creating codes and systems and things that work, that are correct, perform right, and will keep doing that, is a different way of thinking about a problem rather than I need something for chapter three of my thesis, and if, if the numbers look okay, it's good enough. Uh, sorry for the caricature, I was a grad student too. Uh, and uh, so, uh, therefore, I have utterly delighted uh, to support a large number of people through our various programs who will really help scientists achieve lo different longer term and, uh, with luck, correct result goals. So thank you all for being part of this movement. It's really exciting and important. And uh, once again, uh, you know, my own career, uh, you know, uh, when, when I talk to professors, I have, yes, I have degrees in uh, you know, uh, classic scientific subjects, so you know, I, uh, I can pass the uh, uh, you know, degree exam. But my career, as some of you may know, is entirely in writing software, doing software engineering, doing software engineering research, managing software projects. And uh, I very much know the difference between uh, fun stuff and stuff that's good. And once again, you know, I had a job, I worked at Bell Labs, uh, uh, Bell Core, IBM, and Google. Um, uh, when I was at Bell Labs a long time ago, I uh, had an intern named uh, Eric Schmidt. Um, I occasionally give short lectures on always be nice to your interns, you never know. Uh, 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 and uh, well, uh, uh, here we are. Uh, and luckily, uh, 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 
I am in my current job, I have the opportunity to give away very large sums for the benefit of science and scientists, and I hope, therefore, society. So thank you for being part of a very large opportunity. Yeah. Any of you need to know, uh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm C++ programmer number one. Uh, for, first victim of uh, the language. Uh, 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 there are parts of the language that went in because I couldn't write programs in it. <laughs> Researchers like that, guys. Uh, so anyway, I just want to, uh, once again, just uh, thank you all. There, there's a huge opportunity underway. The ML revolution is changing and will be changing the engineering drivers for the next years. Uh, one side, uh, there are new tools, you know, Copilot and its friends, uh, easy access to libraries, very fast access to bad code models, uh, and uh, you know, beware. Uh, however, the things will improve with luck. Whether the uh, tools will get to an engineering level is going to be harder because there are fewer code samples out there of well-engineered open systems than decent code patches. So, however, there is a huge revolution underway. I presume all of you use these tools on the, uh, to improve your own uh, work and productivity. How to do it well is going to be an ongoing challenge. And on the flip side, the uh, opportunities to use AI techniques mean an enormous new appetite for the world, for people who can actually do it well. So learning what it means to feed these systems, to improve them, is another set of opportunities. And the scientific world is going to be an early adopter of many new techniques. So I hope that you will find the next few days challenging, uh, but you know, learning new things, new skills, new tools, also meeting a lot of people who have similar issues and opportunities, and just I wish you an enjoyable few days. Thank you very much.